Thank you for visiting Digital Crack. This is Mario again. Um, I just thought it would be a good time uh, for me to do a, a quick little video um, about the new EDC flashlight that I received. I received this, or I got this rather, you know, from AutoZone, I believe. I was looking for a part for my wife. And um, I got this flashlight because I remember so many people um, that carry everyday use or everyday carried items like, like a Victoria Knox Swiss Army knife that I always carry and uh, I also carry an HK40 um, but I've noticed a lot of people actually carry um, flashlights and this was one of the flashlights that I saw and immediately because of the looks I got it because you know it looked kinda cool you know had a you know the orange button for the controls the actual functions or I mean actual turn on and turn off of the light and it's pretty bright I thought it fit the luminous and uh, I started doing some research because when I got it I was very happy with it and everything I thought it would serve its purpose you know you can barely touch it you know it'll turn on and you can actually click it on it'll stay on and um, I just thought that that would you know serve, you know, serve me correctly uh, and I thought that I would get one for my wife also so something told me to start looking into it So I, because I don't carry these things normally and I don't know too much about flashlights. I started to look into it and they said that the first thing I need to, to make sure that I have for, you know, an everyday carry flashlight is to make sure that it's at least 100 luminous. Well, that's the problem. This is not. And this is 50 luminous. And um, I'm not sure what 100 luminous looked like. Uh, the ones I saw online for $50 and $60 were like, you know, 397 luminous and 500 luminous and stuff like that and that's super bright but uh, what I'm told is um, by an EDC site is that as long as it's at least 100 luminous it can be used as a self-defense mechanism you know to sound the light into the person's eyes and it would kind of like I guess give you a moment momentary um, break where you can actually take advantage of him by him being disoriented and you can either counter him or run away so I figured uh, even though this was really good, this was like, I think this was like 20, I'm sorry, about $12.99, um, $15 basically with tax and everything, I think. I thought I'd, you know, look for other um, flashlights because I was so inexperienced with it. So I uh, went around looking and I ran into this one. And this was at Dick's Sporting Goods. And um, I noticed that some of the more expensive ones had a strobe uh, option on it and uh, this one I have to actually do this manually to do the strobe but um, I guess you could still get away with that being the, you know being that it did that but um, this one actually has the mode on it and then I noticed that I don't know if you can see but mine has a actual crack already because uh, it's not really designed to take falls so it's already a crack right there at the top and uh, this is without me dropping it was it like, came out of the package like that so and uh, then notice also that some of the more expensive ones uh, this is actually um, I guess luminous uh, it actually glows in the dark and uh, so I was like well so I'm missing some options here I'm missing some 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 key features so I found this and I was shocked that uh, Dick's I was just going to see you know how expensive it would be because I know Dick's is not really the most cost you know um, conscious company in the world uh, they they do have some expensive items there and um, you can find some of those items for cheaper online and I'm assuming this would be the case with this but uh, this is the Protec series and it does the um, white strobe effect and white light um, it says four times adjustable focus beam so I can actually uh, you know control the focus beam of it so that's pretty cool um, it's, it says it's a high powered LED um, it's ionized aircraft grade, grade aluminum housing so that shows that it's going to be tougher than, than this and uh, it's aggressive self defense face for the face you know of course you can shine a light in somebody's face at 100 and 130 luminous so that's over what I need and it's still uh, still belt pocket clip and it actually has a pocket clip going down this unfortunately has a pocket clip going up and I hated that 
sticking up with the with this being exposed. I always wanted it. I wish it was you know actually going down. So this this thing right here is actually countering everything and accomplishing everything that I need. And uh, it also is uh, one meter uh, impact resistance, so it's tougher than the one that I have. And uh, I'm sure, see if we can focus on that. I don't know if it'll focus on that or not. Let's see. Guess not. Uh, there it goes. Okay. Water resistant. Another thing that this is not. Three hours of time. Uh, distance three hundred and three hundred and one feet. Wow, that's that's pretty pretty long distance there. But basically, the bottom line is this was nineteen dollars, folks. It's Pro one hundred and thirty light. So comes with the battery. Uh, gives you you know same things that the front gave you, but just in detail. And um, like I said. It basically covers everything um, that I was missing uh, from this one and gives me a lot more and all for 19 bucks and with other items out there having the same features uh, costing 40 and 50 dollars um, I would think that this is probably a better buy but it's just me okay so this is lighter too, so it has the same clicking as the other one. Uh, let's see if I should take out the. Yeah. The only thing that worries me about this one, and you know, it may just be me, but um, I noticed that in here, you notice that this is a a dome type of look. Like I think that they're using the glass to boost the power of the LED that's inside maybe I don't know uh, that's just what I'm thinking as opposed to this which is a clear a clear entrance so I, I don't know maybe it will perform worse or maybe it will perform better uh, we don't know but um, also I think this one will stand up whereas this one will not so let's see if we can get this It up here. Glad it comes. And that was another thing. Also, on the expensive ones, they you know they require I know more power. And um, being that it reach it's reaching three hundred and something luminous, um, over three hundred something luminous. So I know it requires more power, but it also requires a different type of battery. And I'm sorry, I you know I. W I would prefer a battery, uh, just a regular AA battery, to be used in the in the EDC, you know, knife, uh, or not knife, but flashlight that I would carry. Uh, that way, I can easily change them out, and you know, I can find them readily at any store, any place. I don't have to go to a specific location to, to find a specific battery for this. So I don't know. I, I just like that better. So uh, I'll be doing some tests later. I don't want to actually blind anybody, but. Um, this is the uh, just the unboxing of what I what I found at um, Dick's Sporting Good, and hopefully it'll turn out good, and uh, I'll be able to do a, a written review to confirm the the findings and confirm whether or not this was a good choice. Thanks for visiting.